Every single day, we're bombarded with way too much information from all around us, from every single direction. And there's no place to hide online. This information will always find you. Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Ari. This episode, what to do when overwhelmed with too much information. I think that this is something that everybody can benefit from because with the advance of technology, the internet, gadgets, phones, phones, we have so much information at our fingertips, more information than pretty much any generation in the history of mankind. And probably 75% of the information that we see is not true. Maybe even more. I just completely made up that number. So don't quote me on that. But with this great power of having this great information at our tips at our fingertips, it comes with great responsibility. And again, we're constantly bombarded with information, whether we're on social media all day or watching TV shows or movies or reading books, you know, if people still read those, uh, reading magazines, plug the books back here, reading magazines. I don't know if people still read those newspapers, probably not. Like people read those on their phones or just browsing online, getting, you know, in the deep, dark edge of the web. But we need to be able to first discern what is true and what isn't. But we also need to be able to focus on and discern what is actually relevant to us, what is actually valuable to us, because I've noticed that we spend far too much time worrying about other people's lives, what they're doing, who they're dating, uh, what's going on in their business, how much they're making, and we don't actually worry and care about ourselves. And that just shows where our priorities are. So people get caught down. Another thing is people get caught down this never ending web of conspiracies. And I'm not saying that some conspiracies aren't true, but it's usually not worth your time to spend all this time like researching and doing all this stuff. Like there are some absolute loonies that like spend their entire life doing it and like good for them. But unless it's something that you want to make a career out of, like, I don't know if it's worth overwhelming yourself with, with that much information. Sure. It's good to keep yourself up to date. It's good to keep an open mind on things, but you don't want to fill your mind with too much information that doesn't really matter. And that's the same thing with how you had to memorize all this stuff for multiple choice tests in school. And you're filling your mind with all this information and you're getting so overwhelmed where you literally have to take out things in your mind that are actually important, like your emotions and your feelings and your relationships because, oh, I need to memorize this 10 page book for my science test on Tuesday. Like, no. And I got in the cottage I got in caught in the trap basically of seeking too much information through books. Like as you can see behind me, I have some books. This isn't even close to how many books I have, but I got into a point where I just started reading way too much. And I know you say, "Well, how could you read too much?" I basically just wasn't taking as much action as I know I should have, and I basically used reading as a way of procrastinating. Now, I know that that's probably better than using Netflix or using TV or social media as a way of procrastinating. But for my specific journey, for my specific mission, I knew that. And there's nothing wrong with acquiring knowledge and learning and getting exposed information. But most of the information that we're getting exposed to through social media, TV shows, movies, books, it's just trying to sell us something. It's trying to sell us a lifestyle, trying to sell us a product to make us look less ugly or to make us love ourselves more when we can just love ourselves and feel whole and beautiful and complete right now. That's not even cliche. That's what it is. We can feel whole. We can feel complete without these people trying to sell us these products. That's really all it is. And it's not helping us learn. It's just confusing us more. It's just bombarding us with so much information to the point where we feel overwhelmed. And if going on social media is making you upset, if it's getting you to hate yourself and other people and feel like you're not worthy, you may have to evaluate whether it's actually worth your time to get all this information, this negative information that you don't even know if you actually want. So I would say that choose consciously what you focus your attention on. Choose consciously what info you intake, what info you intake, because there is so much information out there We're getting bombarded with it all day. And when you're overwhelmed, you got to just take a step back. (sighs) Take a deep breath, maybe meditate. Always recommend meditating. And just think about what is actually relevant to me right now? Is this information actually important to me? Or am I just doing this because I'm kind of caught in this hamster wheel of social media, TV? Maybe I should just, you know, 
relax, sit, just breathe, do nothing, maybe read a book. But that's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. What to do when you're overwhelmed with too much information. Just breathe, relax, and release it.